Being able to get past defenders is one of the most important things in today's game. And it's much more about your footwork and understanding your defender's body positioning as well as their momentum in order for you to make the correct reads and attack. All right, so the two people we're gonna look at in this video are Jamal Crawford and Luka Doncic, all right? And I chose them because the average person's perspective on them is gonna be completely opposite. You're gonna think Jamal Crawford is super quick with crazy handles. Luka Doncic is on the slower side. And really what I wanna show you is that they really are doing the same thing. It's all about footwork and being able to read the defense. You see Jamal Crawford here with the ball, and I want you to look at how the defender is positioned right now. He's basically lined up with him, he's in front of him, looking straight at him. The way I was taught is to use the three-point line as a guide on defense. Now all it takes is Jamal Crawford, I want you to watch what he does. He's still, all he does is float over to the side. Him floating over to the side changed the defender's body positioning to be parallel with the sideline, which means he's now, there's nobody in front of him to stop him from wanting to attack and get downhill. Now in this clip, he doesn't drive all the way to the basket. He's able to stop on a dime, pull up, look at the defender, not ready to react to that at all. He's able to stop and pull up, get an easy bucket, right? Now, let's look at Luca in the same situation. Defender is guarding him, he's straight, he's head up on him. Luca has the ball, all he does is look, float to the side. And when he floats over to the side, he's not crossing his feet, he's not running over to the side. All he's doing is a simple float over. Now, there's nobody his body's on the side now, so there's nobody that's gonna stop Luca from getting downhill and attacking. And you're able to create that angle simply from floating to the side. Then take anything special, right? So let's look again. Look at the defender's feet and their body, right? So he floats over to the side where the defender has their that top foot up. That makes him shift. Now the other foot is in front. Shift again right so he's he's making him change his body positioning he's just floating back and forth and so finally he sees an angle that he likes he's able to attack and get a floater now luca doesn't do as many back and forth shifting but it's the same thing he floats he sees how the defense reacts and now look that top foot it shifts him enough that it changes how his body is standing his position because all you're looking at is how it affects the defense. So he goes from facing this way, he turns his entire body. So then now, once he lands, Luca attacks that top foot, gets to the basket. That's not because he has crazy handles, it's literally he just understands, if I float to the side as a defender, if you wanna stay with me, you pretty much have to turn your body. I wanna show you, this is a common counter right here too, that you can use when you're using that float dribble. Float, cross between. When he floats again, the defense sticks his foot way up front. So that's just an easy cross to get to a shot, right? Now watch when Luca does it. He does that float dribble. Float, cross between, but on that between, Luca attacks. And he goes, right? But that's a, it's a common move and a common combination that you can use is that hezzy float cross between. Right here, Jamal Crawford, off that hezzy float, he gets the defensive back, back up off that cross between. The defense is expecting him to re-engage and attack again, so he has both hands down. So the read there for the offensive player is, I'm a float, he keeps his hands down because he thinks I'm gonna drive, he just pulls up for a jumper. All right, and if you just want to be able to yank somebody and really cross them, he does that float. This is the read. You should be, you have to be able to tell when your defender is trying to beat you to that spot. And it takes time, it takes practice, right? But when you float over and they're shifting with you, when you do that hard plant, it's just a cross, crossover, create space. You can get a shot off. All right, so you can get downhill off that hezzy. 
you can keep going back and forth off that float just floating back and forth back and forth until you get a driving angle or if you just want to shift the defense like you saw Luca do there uh, Jamal Crawford here float he sees the defense once he plants hard the defense thinks he's just gonna attack and go crossover yank him get a shot off so plenty of things that, that you can do plenty of ways that you can attack but i really just wanted to show everybody that you don't have to be super quick or fast it's just about the footwork get that float dribble be able to hang with the ball go side to side and then read your defender see how they're reacting when you float one way do they turn their body enough for you to drive do they turn their body and lunge forward where you now you can change direction attack that top foot when you float do they back up and brace themselves for a shot it's there are reads that you have to make but the defense is always going to play their hand they're going to show you exactly what they're going to do when you shift so just being able to know the shot that you want to take and the counter that you're able to get to from that flow is going to do wonders for your game